Hi guys, I'm Terry and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm so excited to announce that I finally got my Ikea packs. It has been three months. If you followed me on my channel, you know that I was doing a vanity tour and I showed you this messy corner that I was gonna get a PAX unit for and it's been messy for three months. <laughs> so I finally got it. Um, I have built it and I put it together and I'm gonna do this kind of as a two-part um, video, okay? So the first part, I wanna kinda share with you some really cool hacks that I did to the IKEA PAX unit. And then the second part, I will give you a tour of how I organized everything. But before I even get started with any of that, I have to show you my most recent Velespa haul. I'm not sponsored by Velespa, I'm just very much in love with the candle. And I used to always buy the Bath and Body Works candles, but it started to really bother my husband's, um, he has like respiratory issues, and it really started to affect his breathing, and he actually really would have a hard time. He would get chest pains when I burned the candle. So um, naturally I wasn't gonna continue to be burning the candle. So we couldn't figure out what actually was bothering him. So I decided to go a different route and go with all natural waxes. So Velespa uses coconut wax. So I was thinking this is natural, so it should be okay. And I actually burned a candle and he actually liked it. It's a little bit milder scent. It's not so, it doesn't irritate your nose what do I do but go out and get a whole bunch of Velespa candles? Because I love candles all over my house and I love when it smells pretty in the house. So anyway, so I wanna share with you, they have they had a sale. So I'm gonna show you some of the ones that I got. Um, these are little votives. They're, I think they burn, these burn for like 80 hours. So the first one I wanna show you is, it's, it's, um, it's called Sal Persimmon. And um, these are really nice heavy duty candles. And I don't know about you, but I reuse these jars after they're done because these are great to hold jewelry coins. I mean, you can use all kinds of stuff. But this is, this smells, all of their, to me, all of the Lespa candles smell very fresh. And this is very, it's real light, it's real fruity. So I do like this one. This next one is Prosecco Bellini. And it, it smells like peaches and apricots. It smells so good. Again, all of their, I feel like all of their candles are very um, mild. Um, like, so here's another one. Okay, I literally got this because I love going to Laguna, but this is called Laguna. This actually has a fruity smell to it, kind of citrusy, but it's, again, super light. Okay. The next one. Hey, and the next one I got is the pink citron. And I'm gonna probably guess that this smells very citrusy as well. It's very grapefruity. It smells like grapefruit. It smells so good. It smells very good. And then I got a couple that were kind of on the bold side. So this one is the crisp champagne. I'm going to assume is very a bold smell. It has a it has a scent of vanilla, but um, I don't really smell champagne. I smell a lot of vanilla, but and you will see this will go perfect in my bathroom because it's the body of gold, and that's another reason why I got it too. Another one I got. I'm a little disappointed because it came a little boogered, but this one is the. Pomegranate blood orange. I I tend to gravitate towards either flowery or citrusy. I don't really like like cookies and I don't like sweet smelling stuff like that. But I mean flowery, yes, but not anyway. It kind of spilled over. Kind of did the poo poo, but but to me it smells very much like orange and pomegranate. But. Not overpowering. None of these are overpowering. This is just kind of goopy because it's got wax all on the side. Oops. So that's that. And then the last candle I got, when I first started buying Velespa candles, I liked a lot like their Makara, um, 
that's what I really started out with, Macara, and that's the one that my husband liked. And then, and then I discovered their rose line, and I love their rose line. I have them all in my office. It's very, like the Rose Auto, I mean, it's Rose Odo. <laughs> and then also the milk, the, what is it called? It's the, it's the milk rose. I have a couple of those. And they're just so, they're so, they smell so pretty. They're very feminine, but they're, they smell like roses. But again, nothing is overpowering. And I just, I love them. So uh, these are all new scents. I've never tried any of these, but they were all on sale. So I wanted to take advantage of the sale. So this one is, the white currants and alpine lace. And their jars are so beautiful. I love their jars. I definitely reuse all their jars. Um, whether it's for, like I said, I use them for, I don't put food in them, but I like to put like, if it's my craft stuff I put in them. A lot of my, um, a lot of it I use in the bathroom, in my bathroom. This smells, this has a very, um, to me, it has like a green, It's it smells like the holidays. It smells like your berries and your evergreens and pine. Very pretty, I like this one too. So I would probably use this in the during the holidays. But anyway, so those are just some fun candles that I got and I just wanted to share them with you because um, I just love candles and I love pretty things. But anyway, so on to what we're gonna talk about and those are some fun Ikea hacks. Now these are just what I'm using for so that they help me out or that I prefer or like. So the first thing that I did after I put my PAX unit together is I like to embellish them. So I, first I wanted to add drawer handles because I was tugging on them. So I kind of liked putting a drawer handle. So I bought these, they're like a black faux leather with a gold brass on the end. So I only wanted to put one in the center, so I bought kind of the, I think it's the second largest one. I put the link below so you could see them. It just really um, amped up the, the drawers and made them so much more luxurious. And I really love that I did that. And they're so pretty and they're so elegant and they work so well with my black and gold design. Here's how they turned out. Another thing that I did, I have a lot of, I wear a lot of ponytails and hair clips and things like that. So I wanted to figure out a way that I could hang them because I didn't want to leave them in the drawer. I would need like a long space for all my ponytails and I didn't want them to get wrinkled. So I bought these, they're, um, they're, they stick on. So I just stick on to the side. I have a space, I have a space on the side of my PAX unit. It's like about this big, which is great because I also have my necklaces that I had from before hanging so I don't have to move those. But I have a space like about this, this big between the wall and the PAX unit. And so I thought, how perfect is it? So I put these hooks up against the side and, and if you have any of these kind of ponytails, which I have several, you literally just hook them on to this and it holds it. So it's, it's attached to the wall and I'll show you, but it's, it's attached to the wall like this and it works so perfectly. So all I have to do is reach it and grab whichever ponytail I want. I also can see them, but they're also not getting tangled up. I needed it to be long because I had to have the length of this and coincidentally I found these, which again, work so perfectly and I love them. So anyway, so I put three of these there. I think the pack comes with four, but I only needed three. So.
So these are for my smaller one. This pack also has four. Either, either putting commando strips on the back of this and then attaching it that way because they're not going to be very weighty. So I think this will be perfect, but then that way I can hang these ponytails. And I'll show you exactly how they came out. They look so amazing. I love them. So I had a leftover piece of the acrylic sticker thing that I had for the large hook, and I cut it into fours, and I'm literally going to put it on the back of this. But because this needs height, I didn't want to screw this into the into the unit, but because it needs that depth so that it touches the wall at the same level as, as this, I took one of these long pieces of commando strip and cut it in half, and I'm just gonna attach those on there. The nice thing about this, it, it is temporary, so if I want to take them off, I can take them off. I got these mirror octagon. They're so pretty. I wanted to put something, I first was thinking of maybe like a wallpaper, but I didn't want it to clash with my, um, with the wall right next to it that has wallpaper. I wanted to put flowers, but then a lot of the flowers that you find are kind of um, see-through and I didn't want it to look like, I didn't want it to look cheesy. So then I ended up picking these and these are these little mirror, if you saw another one of my Ikea hacks, you saw I did something very similar to it where they're like these mirrors and I put them on the front drawers and I also put them on the front doors. But these I'm actually putting in the back so they're kind of like the background so they look like I have a mirror in the back. So I purchased these on Amazon. Peel off one side and then you just take the reflection on the other side for like a mirror effect. All right, so I kind of started to do this here. I'm trying to, you know, it's a big step. If I do this and I hate it, I'm gonna be stuck with that. So I'm debating on if that's what I wanna do. I think it'll look nice, but I just don't want it to look super busy back there. I can't do a wallpaper because right next to it is this wallpaper, so we don't want it to clash. I also purchased this light. I wanted to have a little bit of light at least in the main two shelves of the Ikea units. They are also rechargeable, and they also come with a remote control. I thought these would be nice, kind of clean and slim. I thought these would be perfect. Super easy, while it's charging, it's red, and then when it's ready, it'll turn green. I decided, instead of going either the back or the front, I decided to go literally in the center of each of the shelves. That way it kind of highlights the whole area, so that's where I installed the magnet. And I'm waiting for them to charge because, as you can see, it's still red. So as soon as they charge, I'll put them up. It does come with a remote control, which I'm excited to try. And here's how those lights turned out. Well, I hope I gave you some different ideas for your Ikea, some fun hacks, some, some, some decorative embellishments you can do to your Ikea to kind of dress it up a little bit. Stay tuned for next week's video where I will do part two of my Ikea Packs unit and that I will give you a tour of how I organized it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. Until next time, bye-bye.